All right, how do I skin to Unreal Mannequin? Let's have a look. So, first, what have we got here? We got the Unreal Mannequin, and we're going to go in there, right click on our mannequin, go to Asset Actions, choose Export. We're going to choose a place to export it to. It's going to be a secret location. We'll uh, make a new folder. Stick it in there. Uh, yeah, 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 all that stuff. Default. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, don't change anything. It's fine. Everything's good. Yep, you're gone. Just, just export it. All right. There, yep, there you go. Now, next, we want to pull up your uh, 3D editing suite. In this case, it's Maya LT. Now what we got here is uh, we've got a skinned version. I've already skinned it. There it is. Look at that. Unreal Mannequin's destroyed, so let's delete it. So we're going to take him. Delete. Bye-bye. Now, the other thing you want to delete is that. But first, you want to unparent that from there and put it over there. So now it's unparented. Now delete. Goodbye. Now this, you want to expand. Look at all your joints. Select everything mesh and joints. We'll choose some sort of directory and we'll export that. And then now back in Unreal we're importing onto the mannequin skeleton. And here it comes. Plop! There it is. Now we go in here, choose mesh, change the uh, mesh into our alien. Look at that. What was that? Almost two minutes it took. Huh terrible. So we may as well change some textures, some materials, make it look a bit more alien-like as it was originally. It's an old, old model from I don't know how many years ago. It was just laying around. So I figured, yeah, let's put some bones in him and stick him in there, test this little theory out. But uh, it did take a bit longer than two minutes. There was um, quite a lot of skinning and painting those skin weights. Oh, here's that other one. Now look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, with the same process. Just changes the alien. There he is. Yep. That's all it takes. Click, click, click. Done. There he is, running around. Look at that. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, it did take a bit longer than two, two minutes. It probably took about maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours, all up, including this part. Now this part is the, uh, what did I do here? Importing, trying to find the right model, couldn't find the right model. Now oh, there it is, that's the one. Yep, so then uh, it came in pieces, so I just merged them all and welded all of the uh, vertices that were not welded. And here it is, imported the uh, mannequin scaled up my model to fit where the mannequin stands, shoulder to feet. And then in this case I chose to choose, I chose to choose, I chose to choose, to chose, chose, choose the, the uh, mannequin to uh, fit the model. So I just moved his bones up so he was in a T-pose. Then I went through and aligned every little bone to where they should be. Fingers, rescaled them, lined them all up, lining, 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 lining up. Lining, lining. And then uh, painted all the weights. And uh, so that process, as I said, probably took, well, to do the painting weights was probably the longest part. That was probably about an hour. So here we are, painting, 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 painting out the weights. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a satisfying thing, really. Kind of zen out, painting those little weights. Just uh, keep some sharpish edges where the joints um, fold bend, sorry, in the fingers, much sharper edges, got to be precise, anyway, I think uh, you get the point, lots and lots and lots of paint, ting of the skin weights, yeah, anyway, so then back into the Unreal, and there it is, that's the final thing running around. Pretty uh, cool um, arrangement.
management, Unreal Engine. We've set up all this free stuff to get you going. Thanks, Unreal. You guys are, well, you guys are Unreal. <laughs>